Today, we're going to be talking about FedRAMP. What is FedRAMP? So FedRAMP stands for Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program. And this is basically a way that the government ensures that cloud providers, any cloud technologies, any offerings, software um, that's going to be placed in the cloud for the federal government to use or utilize um, making sure that those uh, systems, those applications are secure. So it's a, a way to authorize, do a security assessment and authorize cloud-based systems. Now here's their website. Uh, you could find it at fedramp.gov and uh, basically tells, gives you an o overview uh, they've been around since 2011. Um, on their main website, there is an introduction video that tells you, uh, gives you a general overview of what FedRAMP is. You could also download the transcript here. So their mission is to um, promote and adopt secure cloud services across the federal government by making sure that there is a standardized approach. Um, and then here are the different benefits of utilizing FedRAMP. It reduces uh, duplicative efforts, uh, basically talking about standardization, right? Making sure everyone does the same thing when it comes to the assessment process. And here is saying it establishes public and private partnerships. So companies like AWS can partner with the federal government uh, so that their cloud services and offerings uh, could be used within the federal government space. Um, here is talking about acceleration of using uh, cloud systems uh, government wide. Um, and also here it lists the different goals. Um, it is important to note that FedRAMP is based of based off of uh, FISMA. FISMA is the Federal Information Security Modernization Act, and it requires for all agencies or all government uh, agencies to protect their data. So this, uh, the establishment of FedRAMP is meeting this uh, directive or legislation. There is another one from the um, executive branch of government, uh, OMB, Office of Management and Budget, OMB Circular A-130 states that when agencies implement FISMA, they must use National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST standards to, and guide, guidelines. So they must abide by NIST. One in particular is NIST 800-37, and then the other one is 800-53, which talks about the security controls that you apply. Now there is another one, 800 um 53A, which talks about the assessment approach uh, for assessing the security controls. And here's a link of where you could download um, the OMB A130 and also FISMA. Now let's go to resources. When you go to resources, they have documents and templates. This is a uh, huge resource for anyone in the assessment and authorization field. Uh, you could download, one is the, the playbook, which shows you A to Z, the process and procedures for getting your uh, system authorized. Uh, 
uh, they go over the different paths to authorization. Um, here is a template for the um, readiness assessment report and this is for a moderate system. You can download that. Um, a bunch of templates that are helpful to you. This is a, a readiness assessment uh, report guide for a 3PAO. 3PAO stands for Third Party Authorization Organization, basically uh, independent as assessors. And here is a template for the POEMS, Plan of Actions and Milestones, which is used to track any findings uh, that occurred after an assessment was performed. So here is a very um, uh, helpful link. It has all these uh, nice templates you could use on the job. Um, if you do not have a cloud system, you could still use the template, just edit it to uh, reflect an on-prem, an on-premise system. Okay, so here's a SSP, um, so many um, good templates you could utilize. So next, let's look at training. This is huge because in the past, uh, FedRAMP has had these ISSO training sessions which were in person and I believe the first time they had it online, uh, live online, was um, during the, uh, the peak of the pan pandemic. So now they've got um, courses that you could actually view online. Um, these courses will teach you on how to perform specific tasks in the authorization process. So let's take a look at this one, online courses. Browse courses. Here it's talking about the system security plan. So the system security plan, the SSP, is like a Bible of a particular system as it relates to security. So the system security plan, or SSP as it's known, has all the details, the system description, the system categorization, if it's a low, moderate, or high system, the POCs, the environment, the um, um, security controls and different things, authorization boundary. So that's what an SSP is in a nutshell. Um, and this course is geared towards um, SSP requirements for um, FedRAMP. So let's take a look at this. Welcome to the FedRAMP System Security Plan. Right, so it's got a video that you could go to um, and watch in your spare time. And these videos will cover uh, the key topics that you need. Uh, looks like it goes to a YouTube page. Um, all right, so we've gone back. Here is the video training for the security assessment plan. So this teaches you how to develop a system assessment plan for FedRAMP, for cloud system. Um, this here also goes over uh, training for the security assessment report. And here is uh, guidance for continuous monitoring. So continuous monitoring is um, the last phase in the risk management framework where you have to monitor the system and the environment for changes. Um, this is a very good one. Um, how to write a control. So it teaches you how to write a um, security control, okay, uh, the implementation uh, statements or implementation descriptions. All right, so this, this is very helpful, gives you um, steps for the third party authorization organization. So this would be very, very helpful for them as FedRAMP has a particular um, method and, and style.
style of assessing systems that might be different from what you're accustomed to um, at your individual agencies. So they have a specific methodology and, and, and ways that you, they want to see things written out, especially with implementation descriptions and, and the SSP. Here is another link. Um, this is the marketplace, so it gives you a quick overview once you click on the link on um, the progress or status of system authorization. So cloud service providers would um, go here, um, or people seeking to utilize a cloud service provider could go here to see if that um, offering has a FedRAMP authorization, so if it's been FedRAMP authorized. So here's FedRAMP ready, here it's in progress, uh, here it's authorized. So 246 systems so far have been authorized. Let me go ahead and take a look. So here is um, a list of systems cloud systems, um, the Acilion, Accenture, um, and here will tell you how many authorizations they have. Uh, it's pretty cool. And here, get authorized shows you the different paths to authorization. So you've got the agency authorization and the JAB authorization. So if we go on the agency authorization, basically lays out what um, that process is. And say pursuing an agency authorization. And so you've got the JAB, the Joint Authorization Board. Um, their authorization would be a provisional authorization. So that's one way, one approach. The other approach is uh, the agency, um, agency authorization. So the agency could uh, seek out um, a third party organization, assessment organization to um, conduct um, an authorization or use its own uh, set of assessors to um, conduct the assessment, but they would work directly with the cloud service provider. So the cloud service provider could decide, hey, I'm AWS, I need one of my services FedRAMP authorized. Um, I could either go to the JAB to get it authorized, or I can go directly to an agency for them to get it authorized. And once it's authorized once, anyone, any agency could utilize that authorization package and customize it to their own security needs uh, for their own agencies. All right, so the JAB. The JAB consists of um, department heads from the DOD, DHS, and GSA. And they're the ones that will uh, basically do this authorization. And you're saying that the JAB selects approximately 12 cloud products a year to work with the, uh, for, with to work with for a JAB uh, provisional authorization. All right. So for more information about FedRAMP, you can visit their website, fedramp.gov, or you could email them at info at fedramp.gov. They're also available um, on YouTube and Twitter. 
Hope you found this information valuable. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, um, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks.